So, this will become x over x plus 2 times x plus 3. So, it means this will be equal to a over x plus 2 plus b over x plus 3. I have a dream, that's all I need I'll make it happen with some work and believe Know what I want Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Mathematic TV So today is another tutorial day So now I'm going to show how to use the partial fractions when integrating integrals So there are a lot of integrals which can be better evaluate using a partial fractions So, let's start if we have a problem, integral of dx over x squared minus 9. So we can apply the partial fractions in this uh, problem. So first, we need to resolve uh, 1 over x squared minus 9 into a partial fraction. So by resolving um, x squared or 1 over x squared minus 9 so this is equal to 1 over the factor of x squared minus 9 which is uh, x plus 3 times x minus 3 so different of two squares so now this will be equal to a over x plus 3 plus b over x minus 3 so if we multiply both sides by uh, x plus 3 over x minus 3 so this will be cancelled and in the left side portion will be equal to 1 equal to a times x minus 3 then plus b times x plus now you need to set for the value of x so if I will set x equal to 3 let's say uh, x equal to 3 so a will be automatically 0 since uh, 3 minus 3 is um, 0 so this will be cancelled so this will become 1 equal to b times x plus 3. So when x is 3, um, 3 plus 3 is 6. So this will become 1 equal to 6b. And if you're going to get the value of b, obvious, obviously b is equal to 1 over 6. Now, if I will set x, equal to negative 3 so autom automatically this uh, b will be cancelled since uh, negative 3 plus 3 is 0 so obviously um, the value of a will be um, negative 6a equal to 1 since uh, negative 3 minus 3 is equal to negative 6 so this will become 1 equal to negative 6a and a is equal to negative 1 over 6. Now we have a value of um, A and B. So we can integrate this. So it means this will be equal to A over x plus 3. So what is the value of A? Negative 1, 6. So negative 1, 6 times x plus 3 so plus b which is a uh, 1 over 6 1 over 6 times x minus 3 so if we're going to integrate this um, um, so if we're going to integrate this uh, this will be easy to integrate because this will be equal to uh, ln so we since uh, 1 over 6 is just a constant we can put that before the integral sign hence 
the integral will be equal to negative 1 over 6 then integral of 1 over x plus 3 or dx over x plus 3 so dx over x plus 3 then plus the 1 6 or 1 over 6 1 over 6 then of course the integral of dx over x minus t so notice that this will become a ln hence the final answer will be negative 1 6 ln of x plus 3 then plus 1 over 6 ln of x minus 3 so this is the final answer Okay, let's proceed to another example. So what if we have a problem? Integral of x dx over x plus 2 then x plus 3. So again, we can apply the partial fractions here. So first, we need to uh, do the partial fractions for the integral of x over x plus 2 over x plus 3. So this will become x over x plus 2 times x plus 3. So it means this will be equal to a over x plus 2 plus b over x plus 3 so if we're going to multiply both sides by um, x plus 2 times x plus 3 so this will be uh, cancelled in the left side hence this will become x equal to a times x plus 3 then plus b times x plus 2 now let's set for the value of x so we can get the uh, value of a and b respectively so if i'm going to put x equal to negative 3 so of obviously this will become 0 or a will be cancelled since negative 3 plus 3 is 0 so this will become negative 3 since uh, x is negative 3 equal to b which is um negative 3 plus 2 is negative 1 so this will become negative b since uh negative 1 times b is negative b or negative 1b so it means b is equal to positive 3 so negative times negative is positive all right um let's set for another value of x so we already used the negative 3 so let's set uh, another value of x so if i'm going to put x equal to negative 2 since x plus 2 so if x is negative 2 obviously this will become 0 now b is already cancelled so x is negative 2 equal to a times x plus 3 so if x is equal to negative 2 negative 2 plus 3 is 1 so ob obviously a a is equal to 1 or a, this will become a1 or 1a this will become a since still the same now a will be equal to negative 2 so a is equal to negative 2 now we have a value of a and b respectively so we can integrate this hence this will be equal to this will be equal to integral of negative 2 over
negative 2 over um, x plus 2 plus the integral of b over x plus 3. So, b is equal to 3. So, this will become 3. Yes, there's a dx here since we, um, with respect to x. So, 3 dx over x plus 3. So, this can be easily integrated. This will become ln also. So, I will put uh, the constant which is negative 2 in the um, outside in the integral sign. So this will become negative 2 integral of dx over x plus 2. two. So then plus. 3 integral of dx over x plus 3 over x plus 3 so notice that this will become ln or lag so our final answer will be negative 2 ln of x plus 2 plus um, 3 ln of x plus 3 then don't forget the constant of integration hence our final answer is this so integrating using a partial fraction is quite longer especially when uh, resolving two um, partial fractions because there are a lot of case that are uh, in resolving in partial fractions so I think um, there are more than five I guess case of um, or type of partial fractions but that's all for today guys thank you so much for watching and please share your thoughts about it by commenting below and if you learned something today please give this video a thumbs up also if you want to see the other videos link in the description below and please don't forget to sub to subscribe and click the notification bell stay tuned and see you on my next video thanks and god bless i have a dream that's all i need i'll make it happen with some work and believe know what i want so i'll take it on i'll make mistakes but mistakes make you strong